right here we have um four cars and you might recognize these cars but you might recognize the names too we have a jeep wrangler versus a 1941 jeep willies so pretty much what the plan is old versus new now the thing is the humvee was introduced in 1985 Jeep Willys was introduced in 1940. So there's a 45 year old age gap here between these two specific cars. But, I mean, we're still doing it. So we have the 1940 Jeep Willy versus a 2023 Jeep Wrangler. And then we have a M M1151 Humvee versus a Hummer H2. Now, I could have went with the Hummer H3 or um, a uh, Hummer EV, but I decided to go to H2 because this is a new one and it looks better. Yay. So, we're pretty much going to be doing a couple challenges. Obviously, off-road. We got to do that with literally every car. Um, Durability, I'd say. I don't have anything set up for that. Um, We'll start off with uh, the Jeeps, shall we? All right, let's go with the Jeep Willys. This is, I have a feeling it's not going to go well. But, you never know. It can surprise you. This is a very nicely detailed Jeep, though. We just got blackout lights. Which are very cool. And the windshield folds down. Also, I just want to point this out. So far, the Jeep is doing insanely well. But also, the, the Hover and the Jeep are both... Cars that people upgrade to do off-road. Or just off-road in general. Oh god. I'm already flipping. Uh, nope, we're good. It's not a god mode. It is not a god mode. But it is zooming. Boy, 35 off-roading. But also pushing out a ton of carbon emissions. Oh no, we're flipping. Look at that. Just a, We just lost a light. And we still have a blackout light. Yeah, we're good. Yeah, look at that. Easy. Dude, not even the pickup trucks do that, could do that. My last video. If you haven't checked that one out. Let's try Let's see how... Let's see how a uh, Jeep for 2023 does. Oh, yeah, the lights. I have issues with that. Okay, it is, like, literally... Oh, there goes the ribs. Oh, no. It is handling it very well, though, but also it's a Jeep, so, you mean, you can't be that surprised. Oh, no! Oh, my shaft! My drive shaft! Uh-oh. It, it break- it's supposed to, you know, it, it- oh. You know, the back's supposed to come off. It's fine. You know, it'll buff out. You're just missing a tail light, you know? You can replace that. And part of the bumper. And face. Look at that. Easy. Easy. That was super easy. It handled it great. But I must say this did better. The um so far, well, I think so far the um the uh version ones have done better. But let's see how it does with the Humvee or the Hummer. Technically, I could have went with like any other Hummer. I could have went with this one. But who who doesn't who has to go with the H one? One of the cars with one of the worst gas mileages ever. This is probably still a bad gas mileage too. We didn't talk about that. I mean, it is, we're cruising at 30 miles an hour. Um, I mean, it's doing great. It is, oh gosh. Oh, there's all the part. Oh, we lost a, wait, the Jeep lost a wheel? Or parts of, oh, shoot, the bumper. Oh, wow. Oh, there goes my, that, dude, that's fine. Like, that's not, Oh no! Bro, there is no way that just managed to do that. It just rolls back over? It's like a Tesla. Anyway, let's go with the H. Let's see what the H2 does. So far, I think, um, honestly, I think, um, original wins. This is pretty much original versus successor. 
I think I see the I think the H2 for apocalypse or the H3. Oh shoot! Oh no! Yep, I don't think. Oh. oh, we're good. It's dude. There is no way these hubbers could just roll over like that. This thing is insanely boxy, and that's why I like them because they're really cool and massive. I I, I just like hovers. I just really like Homer. I mean, it's handling it very well, though. I mean, we flipped over in the beginning. But once you start- Oh! Once you start going quick, you kind of just, like, go over that. Little bumps like that. Yeah, um... It seems like both cars, the Jeep Wrangler and the H2, have both taken damage to their roofs. To the- well, to the back. Oh! Oh, that's the tire we lost. We lost the uh, back tire. Okay, we have the cars very awkwardly placed, but let's start off with what we started off last time. The Jeep. Because we have to. We just we just gotta. Here, also, maybe I'll run the um, Hummer EV through this. Just because I've I've, off I've off roaded it. In, I've done gone, have it gone through this course, and it does amazing. We'll see. We'll see how that goes. Again, no vehicle during God mode. It was just... Okay, the suspension on this thing is insanely stiff. I must say, though, safety-wise, obviously the new Hummer... The uh, new... Newer cars, because... Let's be honest, they're newer, and there's... New laws. And they weren't... And they're meant to drive on the street compared to these two, which are meant to go to war. And get completely demolished. Or at least get, you know, maybe exploded or something, I don't know. Oh, dude, this thing is taking it. it bruh. I gotta say, maybe the, I think that the Cybertruck could do this and just erase the suspension, but it, w it wouldn't be able to do this without losing the bumper. Because it's good. Oh, gosh, here we go. Dude, this, this Jeep is great. We have to do peer and back, though. Or we're gonna jump it. Let's go. Come on. Oh! Nothing is falling off this Jeep right now. Oh, no. it's gonna That's gonna change. <gasps> or is it? What? Alright, we gotta turn around. This is where we stop right here. Up we go. We're going back. I've, uh, I've done this course before. I've done this course with... The Cybertruck, the Rivian, and the Hummer. And the Hummer. Eh. And the Hummer. So. I kind of I know how, how this goes. But I, look at that. Dude, I think the class. I think the older. The, the grandpas are better. Oh, gosh. Oh, we lost our bumper. That's fine. You know, that's, that's fine. Oh, I found out. I found that here's a fun fact. A car from Japan with its left with right side driving and everything are actually illegal. But a Jeep Willys from 1940 is completely street legal. A Jeep from, a car from Japan that has all the safety procedures or things is street is not street legal. But a car but a car from 1940 with Way less um, protection features is legal. So, and we completed the course and flipped over. Guess what? But guess what? Yeah, there we go. So yeah, so yeah, that was great. Literally, just a bit of damage to the bumper. That is it. That's not much. All right, let's see how the let's see how the jump the the jeep does. This is look way look better looking suspension, honestly. I mean, this is like way better. The suspension definitely moves better than the willies. Oh, come on! Oh, it's we, we oh Willis which that's fine. You know, it's always nice to get some wind in your face when you're going highway speeds. We lost our roof, you know, it's supposed to happen. You know, roof's supposed to come off. Oh, on our bumper, that's fine. You know, that's, that's okay. 
I think this is not the right way I was supposed to be going. I think I was supposed to be going that way. Oh, uh-oh. Uh-oh. Okay, we got this. We can reverse. I don't think I'm going the right way. I think I'm going the wrong way. And I'm, that's not... That's better. I think that that's way better. I think this is the route we went. Yeah, we, we went the way lighter route. So, we've already flipped. We flipped over and our bumper's taking some damage. But, you know, that happened to the other one. We have rolled over and lost our roof again. But, you know, the... Willies doesn't have a roof, so you can't really... Look at that. Perfect sunroof. Jeeps are supposed to do this. The roof is supposed to pop off. Mainly manual, manually, though. So you're not really supposed to just roll over and it comes off. But that's besides the point. I mean, it's handling it very well. I mean, these are all c cars that you really... Oh. The bumper's fine. These are all cars you'd pretty much would take off-roading, not, like, off-off-roading, like, the harsh ones, but, like, maybe light off-roading through, like, mud and trails and stuff. Like, this, that's what you take these cars through. Maybe not a Hummer. I think a Hummer could do more. Because it's a Hummer. I mean, if you upgrade both, you can go through some crazy terrain. Oh, no! Oh, I gunned that. It's fine. Yeah, yeah, we lost a fender. And part of the... A uh, hood, but who cares? You know, like I've seen cars on the street worse. Oh, there's our roof. Oh, we're going down pretty harsh. Uh, we still have a bumper and a no one front fan. Oh, we don't have. We don't need turn signals in the front. What's the point in those? I'm being sarcastic. I mean, that went well. Oh, we're flipping over again. What? Why? Why do we always flip over at the end? I think a lot here, considering this is a Hummer. That was, you know, built in 1985, and... Yeah. I mean, it's got turn signals, too. Not even the Willys had that. Not even the Jeep Willy. But also, again, 1985, 1941. Pretty big difference. That's a 44-year... 44, 44 to 45-year-old age gap, if you're depending on how... Depending on how exact you're being. Oh, we're going down. Oh, we're going down. We're fine. We're literally- Oh, we're fine. We're good, bro. Just a little bit of damage to the grill, you know? It's not like it's happened before. Come on, there we go. Look at that. Look at that. It's beautiful. Glorious. This is way easier than a Jeep. This is way faster than a Jeep, honestly. But to be fair... We lost our front bumper. To be fair, I did go the wrong way. Technically. I'm trying to be fair. Oh, we're gonna gun it over. The I'm trying to be as fair as possible. Oh, it's Jeep. Oh, we gotta turn around. I mean, we lost a headlight and turn signals. It's fine. Not much damage. Oh, well, I think we're about to take a lot more damage. Oh, no. Oh, no, dude. Well. Classic lost that one. But let's see if modern can win. Because if modern. Because let's see if the, if the H2 takes more damage than the willies, which isn't a lot, but if this thing really, really screws up. If it does worse than the. If it does the same or worse than the Jeep, than the Wrangler, then it definitely goes to classic. Because classic did. I mean, the Hummer. The Humvee took. Oh, the Humvee took this on perfectly. We still have turn signals, baby. Look at this. Oh, God, no. Is this technically my fault? Well, everything, every time is my fault, but... Because I wasn't paying attention. It don't matter, we're good. Oh, this is... I, we, I went the wrong way again. I went to the left. Look at this. Oh! Roll over! I'm giving, like, a command like a dog. No, no, no! Bruh! Oh, 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 oh! Oh, we saved it. Oh, we lost our lights up top, but that's fine. I don't think we've taken as much damage as the Wrangler, though. So far, it's only up to the wheel. It's literally up to this. The Hummer. Uh-oh. Come on. 
We're not stuck. We're not stuck yet. Yeah, I knew it. We weren't stuck. Go. The Hummers can get through some tough situations. I must say. Oh. Yeah, we still got. Look at this. We still have hazards. We still have headlights. And we still have. A bright. We don't need the lights up top anyway. You know, those are pointless. I don't know if it actually. I, I think they kind of are pointless. They just look cool. The like style points, I guess. I get this is obviously like the realistic. This is obviously realistic. Okay, all right. Look at that. Handle that very well. All right, let's see if it flips over when we turn around. I think I see my issue. I went that way. I went right there. Meaning, I technically get. Uh oh. Meaning, I technically gave the Humvee a harder route. But if it didn't flip over, it wouldn't matter. So, I mean, that's the Hummer's fault. The Humvees. Will we tie the game? Oh, God. I guess we're scoring this, like, two levels of off-road. Like, bumpy versus, like, direct off-road. But I think it's, it's going to be tie either way. Because this Hummer's taking it very well. I mean, it flipped over. But it got back up. It rolled right back over. So, I mean, it did what the Humvee couldn't. Come on. Beautiful. I think that's a tie for off the two levels of off-roading. Challenge. We're dropping it from there. Now we're going to have two levels. So that's technically a total of four challenges. Because literally all we're doing is durability and off-road capability. Because that's kind of what you need in a... Whoever doesn't take the... Whoever... Takes the least amount of damage wins. And then, I think we're going to do a car crash. I thought about just dropping, like, a nuke or something on it. On them. But that that's technically just this. So. Let's just, let's drop the, let's drop the, uh, Jeep Willie. I would say this is probably pointless, but, you know. It's, it's fun. Off we go. Oh, God. It's going to light away my head. Oh! That is not good. I do. How about I gonna flip? Oh, I gotta. Oh no! Can I please? Okay. All right. Uh, I need a car. I... So. Oh, the seat broke. Yeah, that is not good. But also, we let. Yeah, we also let it out our head. So I mean, that's also not good. Oh, the ram saved us. Thank you. Uh, I mean, the blackout lights still work? Oh, no, wait, I forgot the seat broke, so it doesn't work. Uh, I think it took a lot of damage. Maybe not too much, but that, okay, that's a lot of damage. It, the seat broke, so that's a good amount of damage. Let's see if the uh, Wrangler can do better. Off we go. JK, I'm kidding. We're not going. Or are we? Oh, wow, that thing's flipping a lot more. Come on, land its head. That's not... No, that's not what I meant. <gasps> that took so much more damage, but it drives. And I'm alive. I think it's getting just as bad as scoring, though. I mean, your car is not coming back from this. Dude, my front dash broke off. I mean, I'm alive, and the car still runs. But realistically, you... Well, realistically, in all these, you'd be dead. But... I mean, the doors still work. I mean... I think it gets as much as the willies. Let's, all right, let's see how the Hummer goes. Turn on the hazards here. I'm gonna need them. Oh my... Can we, can we, don't tell me we're gonna land on our head again. Bro! Oh! 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 Shoot! Shoot! Well, that did so much better. We lost the entire front of the car. But, I mean... There is nothing done to the cabin. We let it on the front, yes. But not everything is fine. Besides the front of it. That's that's way better than both these cars. I mean, this car you can obviously still tell is the Jeep Willy. With this, sort of. 
but I mean, this is just more Jeep Willie looking, but you lost your, you, the seat broke, you would have died. I can't even tell if the edge is still in there. I mean, the back completely demolished. I don't know. All right, let's see. Let's see all the Hubbard. Let's see all the Hubbard does. I'm telling you, if it lands on its front, I'm gonna be so like surprised. Off we go. Ooh, that handled it way better because it's a Hubbard and taller. Come on. Oh, where are the f bro? Oh shoot! It landed on its main leaf front. This car is fine. The Hubbards are more durable than Jeeps. Oh. That's just a given fact. Hubbers are more durable than Jeeps. Plus, they look like it, too. Literally the same damage, almost the same damage we had in the off-road test. Actually, barely. All we lost was a bit of the bumper and the bright. It went in the bright lights. Bro, I think... Okay. Real, okay. We gotta be real here. Hummer won this, obviously. But who won? Modern? Or old or, or like original or successor oh we took damage here i didn't even notice i mean you can obviously tell this is a jeep willy it doesn't run though you can't drive it this is obviously a hover you can tell it's a hover and it drives this is a jeep not really you can't really tell it's a jeep this is a stripped down car with a broken destroyed dash so that's not good. This is... Nothing's happened to it. Just for fun. I just want to see. I'm going to chuck it off again. I don't think... It, I don't know if it's going to count, maybe. Depending. But we're going to chuck it off one more time. It's got a lot of right as far. That's the same debt. That's the same thing. Hummer is the best, most durable vehicle. Who won? I think, uh... I think old. Original. And that's just because you can tell it's what it is. You can't tell this is a Jeep. Sort of. I mean, really. I don't think you can really tell this is a Jeep. This, you can obviously, obviously tell it's a Jeep, Willie. Even though it doesn't run, but you know, you can fix it. You can fix all these. That, you might, you're not going to be able to fix. That, maybe, you just need to fix the bumper. So, yeah, I think I think uh, original gets this just because of uh, because you can actually tell what it is. This is gonna do good in the car crash, isn't it? Well, we're gonna find out. We have a G a Mercedes Benz G sixty three six by six, aka my dream truck. I know, I, like for how much I love the Cybertruck, that's actually my dream truck. Because it's 6x6 and it's Mercedes and it's beautiful. Um. So, that's good. That's what's going to be hitting our vehicles today. I would, I was going to just put a ramp out or like a bumper guard thing. A bumper rack, whatever you want to call it, to the uh, front of the um, ram. But, you know, Mercedes is better. And it's got already got one built in. So, that I actually had to add. So, beautiful. Isn't it? We're also going to use, um, Joe here. This is Joe. Um, he's going to hop in this car. He's just going to drive it. We're going to see how well this goes. Hopefully, it goes well. We're going to move these cars out of the way. So that we don't have any problems whatsoever. And we're going to start off with the Wooly. Because we've always been starting off with the Wooly. I'm kind of excited to see how... The H2 does, honestly. Okay. Well, we have it. We're going to get a car crash. Three. Oh, shoot. That's the parking brake. Oh, it has a shifter. It has a working. You can't even tell because you're stupid. Like, it has a shifter. I have got. Dude, who built this car? Who built this? Gubo meter. Great job. I have so much respect for you, for you right now. This is beautiful. I am... 
I am so happy about the, uh, the details. Wild, it's better, better than pretty much every other, every other G bully. All right, off we go. Oh God! Oh, oh, the edge broke. Oh, we're flipping. Oh, oh, we both lost edges. Was it? Uh, oh, there's the edge. I mean, it did a lot of damage to the Mercedes. Do you see this thing right now? Dude, the steering rack still works. What just... Oh, there's literally no engine in the front now. There is, like, actually... You can't even open the thing. I mean, there's still a windshield. You can still steer. I'd say this is... Get the pass. We're also going to leave the parts there because we can't. Uh, let's get the, the Wrangler. Sounds like a thing from Indigo Park. Like what Ramby calls the, uh, like, worker. Wrangler. Here we go, here we go, here we go! Boom! Bro. Stop. Stop it. Bro, the bo Oh my god! The Benz took that! Look at that! It's still a Mercedes! Dude, the Jeep did way better. Modern one for sure. The axle was a little bit damaged, but that's fine. Dude, this one did way better, bro. Look at that. My voice keeps cracking. That was way, way better. Except for the hubby. Now, oh, oh, I, oh, wait, shoot. I thought I scared myself. Uh, I technically I could just leave the car there, but we're gonna do this. And just drive it. Just rub this into it. But I want to drive it in because it's more realistic. Boom! Oh! Took out the... Bro! What is it with these hovers and their durability? It's the same damage that happened. Almost the same damage that happened in the last... Bro, it ripped apart the... The whole front of the thing is stuck in the bed. This dude still has an engine. Czar bomb. We are using a czar bomb for this. The one that was dropped on Hiroshima or Nagasaki, one of the two. Will come down any second. There it is. Look at it. Look at how beautiful it is. There it is. Oh crap. My game is gonna crash. Uh oh. Oh! <gasps> my game's live! My game's. It's alive! Oh my god, all the cars are destroyed! Wait, the Jeep's alive! The Jeep is w w far away from the. I don't know how big the blast was on the Zarbob. I promise you, I did not know how big the Zarbob would be and how big the blast would be. The will. The Wrangler survived. Because it was... I just placed it randomly. There's the Zarbomb. bomb. That's everything that was in it. There was the Ram. The Ram's destroyed. There was nothing left of the Humvee. Where was even the Hummer? Dude, I got, dis I got demolished. I died again. I got shot. Uh... The Ram Tier Arcs is there. The, oh, that's his R bomb. Wait. No. There's no. Bro. It was just outside the blast. Just outside. Dude. Look at how much of the city the Zar bomb cleared up. Cleared up. The Wrangler. I mean, the um, both the Hummer H2 and the Wrangler were outside of the blast radius. That's crazy. So that does it. Modern is better. The modern vehicles, obviously, are better. I mean, it wouldn't be obvious. I mean, things would change. So, technically, this in Brick Rigs, what car should you maybe have during a nuclear blast? Maybe an H2. <laughs> take, an H Hover take the Hover H2, because I the regular would get destroyed. Both cars would have been destroyed. I mean, you saw what happened to 
the ram, wherever that thing is. It's on fire. It is dead. The Humvee's dead. And I don't even know where the other car is. Oh, it's over here. Yeah, that it's gone. It, it, it has nothing left. There was literally nothing left of these vehicles. So yeah, Hover H2 and Jeep Wrangler. So t that means Modern wins. There's a better car, but um, honestly, I have nothing else for this. Um, personally, buy the H2. Just maybe buy an H3 because H2 is actually a terrible gas mileage. So I mean, okay. Um, anyway, anyway, just like and subscribe. Um, be careful from, be, be, beware of star bombs.